If you often look at online tutorials for building projects, you'll notice that many of them use JSON web tokens. What is it, and is it safe to use? But the main question is, why do so many people advise against using it? Let's understand this while comparing the pros and cons of JWT. JSON Web Token, or JWT, defines a compact and self-contained way for securely transmitting information between parties as a JSON object. Simply put, this is a token generated for authentication and secure data transfer. First, let's talk about its process. When you log into a website, the website generates a JWT and sends it to you. The JWT acts like a package that contains some identity information about you, such as your username, roles, permissions, etc. Then, you carry this JWT with you every time you communicate with the website. Whenever you access a page that requires authentication, you present this JWT to the website. When the website receives the JWT, it verifies its signature to ensure that it was issued by the website and checks the information within it to confirm your identity and permissions. If everything checks out, you're allowed to continue accessing the protected page. Now the question is, why is it considered to be bad? First, when we use JD, it's typically for tasks like user registration or login on a website, user clicks and performs actions, or for CRUD operations. These tasks often involve database operations like data read, write, and delete. From this, we can understand the first drawback of JSON web tokens, their size. For example, if we need to store a user ID like ABCDE and store it in a cookie, the total size would only be 5 bytes. But if the same ID is stored in a JWT, its size increases by about 51 times, increasing our bandwidth burden. If a website needs 1 terabyte of bandwidth without JWT, it would need 50 terabytes with JWT. Comparing costs, 1 terabyte of bandwidth on widely used cloud hosting providers like AWS costs around $90, whereas 50 terabytes cost $4,500, a significantly higher expense. The second issue is token revocation. Since tokens remain valid until they expire, the server has no simple way to revoke them. For example, logging out doesn't actually log you out. It just removes the token from your device. And if someone has the token, they can log into your account until the token expires. A second case of token revocation is this example. Imagine a user is an administrator but is downgraded to a regular user with fewer privileges. Uh, this change won't take effect immediately and the user will continue to have admin privileges until the token expires. These tokens are often not encrypted, meaning that anyone who can, can perform a man-in-the-middle attack and sniff the token will have your authentication credentials. One of JSON Web Token's main selling points is its encrypted signature, but nowadays almost every web framework offers similar benefits without needing JWT itself. Because of these drawbacks, JSON Web Tokens are not the best option to include in your projects. Instead, you should use a framework that provides this functionality built in. For example, Django has Django authentication and CSRF tokens built in.